Oh, Welcome, okay. everyone. Welcome, everyone, to the Real Beans Cast 1771. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I am with Philip Archer. What's up, Philip? Hello. I'm really happy. What's up, Matt Rose? Good morning, people out there. No, 1717 is not the year we're in. What's up, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Charlie? Charlie! You're muted. Hold on. Unmute. Hey, Hello. All Hello. right. Hayden. Hayden. Whoa. Oh, this is going to be a good one. <laughs> All right. So, I saw this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say right now, this was fucking great. <gasps> what? You shot, yeah. what? You shot me. I thought you were going to hate the shit out of it. Here's the thing that you don't understand. The Matrix of Gallifrey has been altered before to put bullshit out there. Okay? <laughs> the last person that was in charge of being the key holder to the Matrix was the Valyard. Oh, here we go again. Go on. And the Valyard, nobody knew that the Valyard for decades or whatever is the key holder of the Matrix. Not even the Master knows that the Valyard was in control of the Matrix. So I'm going to tell you this. Here we go. This whole episode was bullshit because... No, hold on. No. Listen to me. The whole episode is complete and utter bullshit. You just, because you just don't want to no, admit. You just don't no, want to admit. The whole things. episode is complete bullshit because the Matrix has been converted before to create some nonsense. And it also altered the records to try to convince, convict the doctor of committing genocide on the planet. So the whole matrix of Gallifrey is corrupted and the Valyard tricked the master into this thinking that oh, this right. is going to be the time Lords are alive. The time Lords are somewhere else. This is all of, this is one small part of a bigger picture that you don't realize. Okay. Because at the end of the day, there, there's going to be so much more that's going to come from this. You're going to see the Time Lords return. You're going to see Captain Jack return. You're going to see a whole bunch of people return. And even the Master's going to return because the, the Cyber Alien, whatever, protected on, him from on, dying. On. So I'm going to tell you right... Joe, 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 Joe. We understand where you're coming from. I want to hear what other people think about it. So well, no, I'm not yeah. finished. I'm, let me finish saying what I'm going to say well, and then everybody can talk. Too. Hold on. If I, I, All the Doctor Who episodes that I've watched since a child, okay, Connecting it with this, and I love that they put the Brain of Morbius bullshit in there because that was the factor and the key that this was all bullshit. So I'm going to leave it off, and I'm going to say that if anybody believes that this is fucking real, after all the Doctor Who that you've watched since being a fucking child, you need to watch it again. Because, again, maybe you need to watch the Valyard episodes, the ultimate foe, and all the fucking Trial of the Time Lord. Oh, the Valyard into it. Nothing to do with him. You need to watch oh. the Trial of the Time Lord because the Matrix was fucking fucked up before. All oh, right. But then... Anything but then, that... The, first then, of all, anything the Master you says need, is you need bullshit. To go, you need to go and listen to Big Finish then post um, Trial Big of the Big Finish Lord, is then. not canon. So well, I'm sorry. Good. It was good because Don't Paul curse me. I, Big Finish is no, not canon. Paul McGann, Paul McGann mentioned his companions in the Night of the Doctor. Big, Big Net, Finish Net, is not Net. Big Finish is not yeah. canon, except for Paul McGann and certain things. But I'm just going to say it was a great episode, <laughs> and they never said that Ruth was before her either. She never even admitted that or said no, that. No, no, no. In, no. Hang on. In the flashback scene of scenario, you see them come. You see the order it goes through. It doesn't see, matter. It, it, it never said... Ruth was there with oh. the Matrix, and she never said she was before. What's going to happen is by the by next season, you're going to find out that this was all bullshit, and that she is not. There is no timeless child. There never was. It's going to be oh, all God. a fucking lie. Okay, 
and it is a lie. And I'm 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 telling you right now, I am like ninety nine point nine percent. It's too elaborate to be no, a lie. Um, it's no, it's elaborate. not. It's no, it's not. Chitlin wasn't that good. I'm ninety nine point nine percent positive that this is a lie. Mm. So great episode. I give it a nine. You can go, Philip Archer. Go ahead. No, no, no. I'm gonna let someone else go ahead. Charlie, give me give, say what you want to say, mate. All right. I, I really like the episode, first off. Um, I don't, I think at one point she does say something to Ruth while they're in the little Matrix section there, where she says, if you came before me, why don't I remember? I think she said that. I, but she I, says, what does it matter? She's basically said, you know who you are. You're the doctor. Right. Who cares? Right. Right. So, so basically she's telling her, even if I was, which she probably was in this <laughs> scenario, it she doesn't matter to it shouldn't matter to who you are now. That's what she's trying to say. But let's go back to the episode. The episode itself, I thought, went in the direction that I didn't see. I thought they were gonna try and recanon from Hartnell. I thought they were gonna I thought they were gonna do some other BS uh mm -hmm. canon writing that everyone would have grabbed a pitchfork and a, a fiery Stick and ran up to the BBC for. Now, I'm glad they went the way they did because they didn't. It it, it would have made everyone pissed off, Joe included. <laughs> now, um, I one thing I do want to say. I think I think only the Eighth Doctor is canon for Big Finish. Correct. Mm -hmm. So yeah. so well, no. When you when you think about it. If uh, um, Paul McGann is, is, is one existence of the Doctor, so if he says that um, he mentions his companion, that means that all the Doctors that in all the stories in Big Finish for of Doctor. No, it does not canon. mean that. No, it does no, not because mean that. He only, he only no, it doesn't mean that at all. He only mentions his companions, Philip, from Big Finish. It, yeah, exactly and, the and they could be canon, but not the stories canon. Yeah, he, they they made only the Eighth Doctor canon. Yeah, only right, eight doctors enough. can. Sorry. All right, I, I'll take All that. Right. So, what I'll do you what it. do you rate the episode, Charlie? I I gave it an eight, probably bordering on a nine. All right. Oh, I want to hear. I want to hear Chris. Yeah, I want to hear Chris too. Uh, I what what can I say? I mean, this this is just another one of these instances where it, it's one of these stories where you think you know what's going on, and then somebody comes in and goes. Uh, you don't really know what's going on, everybody. Um, so, so in 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 about ten words, um, fuck this. Uh, I I hope that this gets erased somehow. It will. Uh, it will. And and 100%. when it when it doesn't, because you know that's how oh, these things happen now. No, it will, Chris. Uh, no, no. I, I'm sorry, Joe. I have to disagree with you here. Like it, it, any any other showrunner, I would say, yeah, there's there's a possibility. And and what you're saying is possible. I'm not saying that it's impossible, but um, I'm really glad I don't really care about this show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, the whole purpose what, what was for, for her to be caught off guard, and she wasn't. That's yeah. what the master tried to do, and it's so, all along. Yeah. It, it, so it, even even if it is, uh, you, this is something that you don't do with a character like this. And yeah, well, I, yeah. So negative one for me. That's that's what you're getting for this episode. Gotcha. But at the end of the day, right? It didn't it didn't upset the Hartnell thing. Not really. He's still the first doctor. It's just that the, all the ones before, we don't know whether they called themselves doctor apart from um, Joe Martin. Um your... I, I Philip, again I'm gonna say that you're having his greatest nemesis tell him a story that you couldn't trust as far as you could throw. And God knows what he did on Gallifrey. God knows what was created in the Matrix. It's all bullshit. Yeah, but that's... that's There's that's, no that's, way that's, the yeah, master that's, that's, would be able to true. fucking kill the whole entire fucking Time Lord society. Like, that's he couldn't do that before. No, but that's something that we're going to learn probably next season. How he didn't that do shit. Out. They tricked him. They, he's fucking stupid. They, they, there's no way that they did that. Because the, the key is, Philip. That yeah. it did escape the pocket universe. That's a fucking bullshit fucking trap and a half. That's not Gallifrey. 
They escaped the pocket universe. They established that. You gotta follow the fucking breadcrumbs. You gotta follow the fucking clues. This was all, this whole episode is bullshit. And it was nice seeing different things happen in it. Ultimately, the master got defeated. Um, and he probably didn't die because this, the cerebellum thing in him protecting him from dying. He didn't die because as, the, as that bloke pressed that thing, you could hear the monster say, come on, you guys, this way, through this door. And they all escaped into his TARDIS. Which probably was the, um, like, no, I didn't hear that. that. I didn't hear him what say, come on, guys. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking You didn't hear it. Go They're all play. dead. He's the only one that's alive. No, Look, go replay that scene There's again. There's no Cybermen that have regeneration energy that's alive. All right. Oh, They're dead. God. They're done. Uh, I uh, want to talk to Matt Rose because Matt Rose always gets left out. So this is Matt uh, Rose's moments. Uh, <laughs> well, hello. Hello. Good morning. Um, first true. of all, I have... I have to say, I know this has been a roller coaster series for so many, but I will say tonight, I love how Jodie stepped up to the plate. The fam has been broken up in this episode because, you know, they're all on Earth. She's our, like, prisoner of the Jadoon Part 2. This is... <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm quite excited where this is going. I was cackling when I saw those Cybermen wearing the Time Lord outfits. I was like, really? How would, I mean, I have seen so many ridiculous things come and go, but Cyber Lords, I was expecting Cyber Break to appear. But mm. the master, Sasha Dewan, really stepped it up in his crazy, maniacal setting that I really enjoyed him. But just when does the TCE make radio phone calls these days when he was calling the Cybermen? But oh. I have to say, in terms of finales, I had my nephew with me, um, and even he said this is one of the best stories he's seen from this era, because Jody's his doctor. And to me, I personally, where this goes, I am intrigued. I know what you're saying, Joe, about the Matrix, but until it is officially stated with what That's you're fine. saying, I'm waiting to know where the story goes next before we make final judgments on it. That's but, fair. Yeah, I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to. You know, the fam don't know where she is. No. I. I thought that woman was going to hit it off with Graham in this episode because she looked really like into him in the last well, episode. Well, she's probably going to live with him. I mean, they're probably going to hook up or whatever. No, who like the multiple TARDISes that have appeared? Well, no, here's the thing. I, that's the thing I don't like because he, here's the thing. That's the one thing I don't like because now you have a, a house TARDIS on Earth. You have the Master's TARDIS on Earth. You have Jody's TARDIS, which was on that planet. And then you have the Tree TARDIS, which is on that planet. So... There's way too many TARDISes out there that, you know, now you got you got a TARDIS on Earth that, you know, it, two TARDISes on Earth, the Master's TARDIS and that TARDIS or whatever. Well, we don't really know where the Master's TARDIS is. Which right, makes, well, you know. okay, so let's just say the Master's TARDIS is with the Master. So no, you, no, have, you, have, the, you have the another Master's TARDIS is, on Earth. The you have another TARDIS, TARDIS on Earth. Yeah. yeah. The Master's TARDIS, his actual TARDIS was on Gallifrey in that, Probably. In that room. Probably. So that's, that's where he sent the title. Oh, this Bill. And that's where he sent the... Um, the Billy! Title, the title. What's up, bro? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah. Do my eyes deceive me? <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did Joe like this? Yes, I did. <laughs> what is What reality are we in? I'm going to tell you this. Everybody knows I would get pissed off, right? <laughs> all but day. Watched, all I've, day. <laughs> I've watched so many episodes of Doctor Who in my time stream that I know 99% certainty that this is all bullshit. I know it in the fiber of my being. I know that Shiva would <laughs> never... Wait, wait, let me, be able to do let me, this. Let me ask you this, okay? Just, just humor me and all oh, of hey, us. Oh, hey, Chris, what's up? Hey, Billy. H humor me and all of us watching right now. Let, okay. Let's, let's say that next season goes by, right. and this is a hundred percent genuine. Mm hmm What okay. happens then? Let me turn this off. If if it's resolved next season, and it's a hundred percent genuine by the end of the season. 
with no thing to connect it to a 60th or any other, all the other series, that it's definitely not continuing and it's completely wrapping up. And after the end, that it's completely wrapped up. If that is the case, that it's going to stand, then I'm going to be pissed oh, off shit. beyond belief. Okay. <laughs> it's already beyond that belief. way, baby. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I paid attention very closely to this episode. It's bullshit. All right, let's oh, hear I, it. Let's hear listen, it. I, 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 hear, I hear what you're saying. I, I do. And again, I'm not saying that what you're saying is, is not possible. I'm just out here saying I think we all have to prepare for the fact that. Oh, this I is know. Oh, true. hey, I, hang on. I want to hear this. What's up? What, what do you mean, what's up? What, what, what makes you say it's bullshit? Because yeah. the keeper of the Matrix was the value. No, but it's nothing to do with him anymore. They don't even know he's fucking there still. Right. Listen, yeah. first things first, right? Got to face destroyed. The only thing that's remaining is the well, Matrix. Well, no, actually. Um, you think it's destroyed. And there's unlimited TARDISes. Right. And there's unlimited TARDISes. Well, no. So if, if it's all a lie, yeah. how is it then that the master has got Cybermen um, um, t- dead time laws in Cybermen uh, armor. They're dead now. They're dead now. The They're dead. Yeah, but hang on. They're not. They they are. They blew up. They're go dead. back and yeah, play yeah, that yeah. scene. Where, right. where they that, are dead. Go back and they're, play they're, that they're scene. They're not living. Here. Those Cybermen are not living. They're dead. Oh, no, 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 no. What he's trying to get oh. at is when he said those bodies were cold for the time lords and then he put them in the Cybermen and they could regenerate. That's what he was getting at. But the cyber, first of all, the death particle and the cyber lily and whatever would kill all the Cybermen. They're dead. The master's alive. Everybody else is dead. No, you heard him say... Let's... I don't care what I heard. They didn't make oh, it. They, they go... <laughs> He's not the master like anymore. He's the they hybrid. They walk like a duck. He's the they, hybrid. They, 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 it takes them like a snail, like a turtle going on a race. They, they don't run. The Cybermen don't run. They didn't make I, it to the target. I can't even be like, I can't even be mad at you for having this theory because this is what I did when I heard Palpatine was coming back in nine. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Tried to, I tried to find every like, re- like it's not him. It's not him. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not, man. Okay. It's, okay. It's, so it's even not, if it's a liar, right? Even if, right? Even, even if it's a, it's a liar. Do you ex- would you accept that storyline of her of her being the timeless child found? No, it's all bullshit. There is no timeless child. That's the whole fucking. It's a whole lie. The whole what's thing the is a lie. Yeah, but what's the point of of telling a story about a time? Because child he tricked you, didn't he? It's well, real, you, baby. It's real. Cool. I mean, everybody's gonna be making videos. Fuck Chip, no fuck Chip. They're all be like talking about. It. They're gonna be promoting the shit out of it, even if it's in the opposite way. And everybody's uh, the ratings, and everybody's gonna be talking about it. And it's all bullshit. No, oh, God uh, bless Chip. No, it's real. It's real. It's all real. I have seen more comments praising the episode and him than dis- than getting rid, wanting him out. Tonight. It is Thank not you. happening. The doctor's the timeless lot. child. The master's the hybrid. You know, oh, I, baby. I, I have to agree with what, what Matt just said because I, I looked at a lot of reaction from, uh, from this episode. And I, like 90% of the stuff that I saw, everybody was like, this is great. The yeah. show's saved. Da, 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 da. We have so, we we had our friends. Now. Yeah, we've had our friends, like some of them who've said they would never watch the show again after tonight, and they've all praised Chibnall for tonight for what happened. Yeah, I thought it was a good episode. It. I thought it was he's a really good episode. Do it, Joe. He had balls to do it. Like, I thought it was the that. best episode he's done. Yeah. Joe, do me a favor. I need you to put on your acting chops for a second, and I need you to rant as if it was real, because I've been waiting all day to see it's you not pissed. not real. I'm <laughs> I not need, pissed. I, need... I, I really love this Throw episode. K9 or something. I, I, it didn't get a perfect 10 because... Um, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> the, yeah, it didn't, it didn't get a perfect 10 because I knew the basketball thing <laughs> was important to play, and... Ryan shot the hoop, and I'm like, that's bullshit. Everybody, but, dude. Everybody today was like, Joe's going to flip. Joe's going to flip. Chris is like, this is going to be a catch let to me remember. Tell you, it's going to be amazing. Let me tell and you. And he liked it. I'm at work. But it's all based right? on a lie. I'm oh, at work, God. right? And my phone has never <laughs> beeped so much, so much. where yeah. it went from 100% 
to 0% because it was like a symphony all day long. I couldn't even, it was just all day long. It destroyed the battery totally, totally. I had to charge it. It was done. And I was, it was almost like I was getting electric shocks because it's in my pouch. Like this, all day long. Good, good, good. So I'm going to tell you, I paid, listen, Sharon was sitting right there. I was glued into it. I was paying attention to every single detail. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm 99.9% certain. He's grasping his straws. It's all bullshit. <laughs> I want, I want yeah. everybody, I want everybody to do me a favor right now. Just, just, to, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want you to mark the timestamp that that he said that, and we have to well, come I- back here. We have to come back here at the end of series 13, and if this shit has not been wrapped up or has been confirmed to be true, we need to, re- this has to be the beginning yeah. of that cast. Unfortunately, before we get into it. Philip is going to be upset because he hates it when I'm right. So the you're, fucking cast right. is going to happen. But you're not, you're, but you're not right this and time, I, I might even well, wear a fucking well, cape, okay? That cape. fucking you're day? I might right. even no. work out. So I have a, a fucking six pack, and I look like fucking Hulk Hogan, right? I might even train for a whole fucking two years because of this, because I'm so confident that I'm fucking right. That no, you're fucking not right. you're gonna you're see right. him in the but same spot, right? Right. No, you're gonna see what? him fucking upset, right? Right? And I'm going to show my masculinity. I'm going to show me fucking sweaty and fight bonds. I'm going to be like this. Can I have an addendum? Hang on, wait. Can I have an addendum? Wait, wait. Can I have an addendum to this? Can you record now your apology to me when you know I'm going to be right? No, there's no apology. Right. No, no, no. The only six-pack you will be having is alcohol for that one. Listen. And anyway, you in a gym. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great, oh, it's great. true. I will fucking yeah. pump it up for my yeah, just, just a, show. Oi, just oi, for yeah, show for this YouTube world that I'm right. The only thing you'd be pumping is your left arm, mate. What are you talking about? Oh, anyway, but, uh, shit. <laughs> No, no, first. He'll be cheating. You don't need that. Pie car. (laughs) Oh. But no, he'll be cheating. He'll be using Bane's venom. I am so freaking confident. It's ridiculous. Okay. Besides Uh, all that. It's ridiculous. I'm so confident. Besides all that, was Brendan meant to be one of the doctors as well? Uh, It's all bullshit. I'm a little confused on that. No, no, apparently, it, from what I read, it's supposed to be a glitch of that timeless child thing. The timeless child's the real story. The Brendan There is no brand. It was a Matrix story. shit. Yeah, <laughs> okay, no yeah. Honor, That's what I so. thought. Right, um, okay. So when is it was the... just a glitch, a glitch in the Matrix. When is this special? Um, um, it's, it's, what, yeah. But it's also said Christmas as well, for yeah. some reason. It says holiday. Yeah, holiday, which I which I put, uh, which I think is New Year's Day, because Chris Chibnall doesn't like doing Christmas Day. Uh, we said Christmas if it meant Christmas. Yeah, but so so, so we didn't get a trailer. We just got the words. Yeah, I think they yeah. removed the trailer last minute because originally, like the press said, you got a trailer with it. Well, here's the thing I'm confused about, though, and this is what I'm really confused about. Technically, is the Dalek thing a prequel? That it was takes place before all this because here's the thing, she's in prison now by the Jadu. Yeah, and so how is that? How is she gonna get out to help them with the Daleks? And, what and what remember, was the name of it? Uh, uh, the prison. The, oh, what the Dalek story? Jack? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Revolution. Uh-huh. Revolution of the. So my guess is the Daleks are in that prison and they start a revolt in that prison. Yes, <laughs> and, you know, well, and, the, and and interestingly enough, that prison is shorter. Oh, it's gonna be like Prison Break, but how do you know that shot? No, that's the. Uh, it, that's a ju- it looks like Shada. If you look, if you look at Shada, it's, it's the same ju- prison. prison. It's the same sort of thing as the Shada prison. Time I don't together. know about that. Really, I thought it was the Shadow Proclamation because of the. I don't know about that. Yeah. Yes. Whatever the, the case. Yeah. Go ahead. Whatever they're called, that's there. Um, I want to add a little fuel to Joe's fire, but I want to bring up something 
that I've been saying for a couple weeks now. Go on. It, in in that in that flashback where they're at that um, they're talking about the 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 doctor that goes to the other planet and finds the girl. Oh, it, um, it, tech you, yes. Yeah, uh, they once again mentioned that the the rift. It, it, they say it, it, it either goes to another part of the universe or another uh, ultra realm. Ultra. Yeah, I thought it was there another they leave universe. That ambiguous though. again. I thought they said that the time the child came from another universe. Yeah, they did. Or an alternate. Yeah. Or an yeah. alternate universe. Well, not alternate. They said that she comes from not, it's another universe, another, universe. Another, another universe or another realm. That's what they said. They right. didn't say alternate. Another universe. Right. So, so basically, I mean, this is this basically what I'm trying to say is that she's basically started at the Time Lords and it's all she's adopted by them lot. Yeah. And I hope it's all genuine. And then right after they reveal that it's genuine, they cut to a scene where Chibnall's writing and he looks at the camera and says, sorry, Joe. And then it cuts back <laughs> to the episode. <laughs> For all you know, the doctor could regenerate into a child and show up on this universe. And it is true that William Hart was the first and that this is all in her future. No, which is in the past. Let's, let's correct that. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let's hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait. Let's correct, correct that. William Hart was the first one to call himself Doctor. The others didn't have a name. There is nothing before that. William Hart. Wait a is minute. There, wait a minute. Well, hold on, because if it if Ruth called herself the Doctor, but Ruth true. is after. But Ruth she is must after. Be, that's that's so the she, twist. But hold on. What did Joe just say? Ruth is after. That's the twist. But no. Before that. Before no, that. No. What did What did Joe just say about the Timeless Child and? first doctor what did you just say i said that how do we know that the doctor say it's doctor 700 okay. who generates into a child goes okay. through that rift to another universe gallifrey where it is and this is all bullshit it's all like future doctors not past doctors Oh God! Uh, Why can't it don't be? Don't you know, you know, there's no you way to know. You just don't want to do it. You just don't want to do it. You just there's don't nothing want to do it. Oh, this. Listen, you're you're telling me that the master, who lies, creates this distraction for her to try to break her when it's all bullshit. Doesn't no, break her because for some reason it. Ruth is there. He and it. He didn't. Well, Ruth was I don't just believe the, anything the, the master thing. says. The Ruth was just kind of the thing she conjured up in that moment, right? Yeah, he Hold on, let's get some older, older the, people. First of all, the, I don't believe anything the master says. Anything at all. That's you want you... me to trust the master so, 100% and believe that this is gospel. Are you trying you know, to say what, that the what master the manipulated... What would be the point the of him lying? No, I'm level. saying that somebody manipulated the Matrix for the master to believe it's real. Like who? The Valyard. No. no, no. The next thing you know, the you're value, you're when they when the no, doctor was no. on trial, they were watching no. it, and he's like, "That didn't happen. I don't remember committing genocide to the planet. I don't remember doing that because the Valyard altered the Matrix to to fake the evidence." Hello, That's Michael good. Jason. Um, could you? But that room? was real. That Matrix could be altered with fake news. Oh no. Uh -huh. Not Big no, 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 no. Joe Nazi's doctor pretty, pretty much said that yes, all that did happen because she she exists. So therefore, listen, it, I didn't say. Lie. Listen, first of all, we, oh, we no. it is unconfirmed <sighs> that Joe Martin is anywhere in the time period. You don't know where she's from. Well, 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 Never been doctor, confirmed. She is a with a hundred percent certainty that she is before. Hello, curator. It's yes, true, though. Yes. It's yes. never been confirmed with 100% certainty that she is before. Look at the flashback. And it, doesn't the flashback. it doesn't matter. It no, look at, no, look at yeah, it doesn't matter. Right. Look at it. 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 The, the, ma you can, the no. Matrix is not to be believed at all. It's, it's it was it's altered it's before. It was yeah, fake it, shit yeah. was put in there. Yeah, so but you're saying... they, yeah, but, yeah, but remember, after the trial, the Time Lords would have actually had to time it up. And no, sure they don't tie it up. The Valyard was in control of it. So they didn't even that. know because they're so egotistical 
They didn't even that, know that he is controlling stuff behind the scenes. He's exactly. probably the one that let Dalek Khan lower the time friggin' thing and let Dalek Khan come in to get Davros. They, they don't know involved. what's happening. They had no it's, idea who the traitor was on Galbraith <laughs> that was great lowering the time lock. They have no idea. So you're saying First of all, they the, didn't even the, know that the doctor's the, mother is standing right next to fucking, come on, Rassilon. Like, he's looking at her like, oh, shit, that's my mom. Like, even though they didn't say it. Rassilon didn't even fucking know who's next to him and shit. So they're fucking uh, oblivious. The Time well, Lords well, are well, oblivious. We're, we're, we're only assuming that was his mother. We don't but know the, that the, the Time Lords are fucking oblivious because they're so full of themselves that they excuse can't me. see right in front of them. Oh, Silencio, uh, excuse me, but now that we've had this finale, <laughs> the reason that you keep saying that she doesn't know... Let's go back a bit on Future of the Dune. The Sonic, when we applied that you didn't know what it was, I know Patrick Troughton was the first Doctor to make it, well, how would she know? He's the first Doctor to make it. First which, of all, she's, which, you, there's which, nothing which, that says she's before Hartnell. Why not? There's nothing if, that says it there. There's no on, Why not? If you can have all those timeless children, right? And then that, other, there's no, that's no, that's true. Uh, oh, 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 complete God. denial. <laughs> no. Yeah. Not true at all. Right, I, I right. Think her, I think her TARDIS... The way it looks is, is is where you have to fall in where it says it it has to be after Hartnell because Hartnell gets that look at the TARDIS. No, no. Well, I gave Philip an explanation, and I think it would be the one that Chipmill would make make sense of. He'll probably say now that Roos' version of the TARDIS looked like that first, and then much later now he'll say that Joe like Hartnell's version will remember it. That's basically Ru Ruth is after Jody. So no, you're, gonna see, you're gonna see that next. No. You're gonna see that when she regenerates. You said the Valyard and fake news is, is the Valyard the head of CNN? <laughs> I. You know what? The Valyard's obviously Actually. not on Gallifrey when this happened. So hello, Michael J. Stone. Could you please come and confirm all of this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you left. Philip is going to cry when, when, when this season's I'm over. I'm not going to cry because I know I'm right. I know you're wrong. Oh, no, my friend. <laughs> I know you're wrong, mate. Come Chris, on. Chris, you're rather you've quiet You've tried how many Any times, Philip? Oh. How oh, many I... times you've tried? Yeah, but I'm, I'm sticking by you my You haven't belief. been right yet I'm about me by... being wrong. Well, we... Hang on. What we saw tonight? Oh, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> what we saw tonight, <laughs> I'm sticking by it. I'm I will sticking have by to it, say man. that the Valyard does no longer exist because why wasn't he in the flashbacks? The value yard was to keep the matrix. He could put whatever in it. Hang on. What was Chris going to say? Well, no, I, I, I can't, like I said, I can't say anything because I've, I've had these same bits of like not wanting to accept something. And, and it, it, again, I, I want to be fair because what Joe is saying is, is still possible. I, I have no evidence to be like, no, what you're saying is wrong because it, it is possible. He brings up a valid point. It's possible. Uh, you know, an yeah, another it's thing. Possible. Another thing. It, again, it's. I'm not saying he's correct. I'm saying it's possible because another thing you can look at is that if all of these past lives, even though they didn't call themselves the Doctor, right? Yeah. Would still technically be a part of of his timeline. You know. Mm -hmm. Correct. So when exactly. when so when Clara way back when went into his timeline. None of these people were around. There that's wasn't correct. even a hint of it. That's correct. That's because that's because that part of the doctor's life no. was blocked by the, was hidden no, by, the, by the by the time no. in the matrix. No, it's not. They hid no. that side of it. No, and that's too bad. No, because right, you so, But here's the, here's the evidence on. of that, right? So how all of a sudden, if that's the case, the like when Capaldi's memory was erased of Clara, it's still there. He just can't access it. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. But 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 this is. This is the thing. And again, Philip, you bring up a good point, And I agree with what you're saying. However, this is now something that if this is going to continue with this story, whether it's genuine or not, they now have to explain that somewhere in the explanation. Because if you leave that blank, that then becomes a plot hole. And then it's like, well, maybe, maybe, know what's maybe. Going on. Yeah, maybe that's why when, when Chibnall wrote a bit where, where the Matrix um, bl bl uh, blanks out the rest of the story, he's going to bring that back in the next season. Next well, let me give an example of that. The example is that the War Doctor existed 
<laughs> but the doctor didn't know the war doctor existed because it was the only memory that was in his subconscious that Clara was able to see. No way. And she's like, who's that? And then he looks at it, he's like, oh, yeah, that's right. Like, he talked it from himself. But that was the only doctor that existed that... He didn't forget the war doctor, Yeah, I, did, I never got the impression uh, he, he got the war doctor. He, 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 he said, right when he she sees him, him... All the incarnations blocked him out. When she sees him in the time stream with him or whatever, he says, that's he's my yeah, because, secret. Yeah, he because he sees it. it, he knows. Okay, yeah. yeah. But here's the thing. There was nothing else in there. Nothing. Yeah, even because, even in the three I, doctors, I, like, give me the original doctor. There's nothing... Yeah, the earliest just, doctor. There's nothing there of uh, uh, pre hollow because the Time Lords blocked that memory from the Doctor. No. Oh, it's, not that, this, it's, it's an ever-changing it, show. It wasn't until Tom Baker there was a flaming regeneration limit. Listen. Canon yeah. is canon. Joe's little sliver of hope is possible, but until it happens, it's genuine, baby. It's genuine. <laughs> no. I like this guy. It, it, it's not genuine. Have we not interacted before? No. Oh my God. <laughs> Matt, I'm so, Billy, I'm, Billy, I'm, Matt. I'm so I'm, I'm so used to like. Uh, this is like a big moment. I'm eating more of your other people. I've got You'll the, get got to meet me. other incarnations of the real being scared. Matt, you that Billy is actually a version of you before you were born. You just don't remember. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He was American and shit. No, I'm so I'm so used to being fucking busy lately that I haven't had time. That I'm so I'm always watching the cast. So I feel like I feel like I know Matt Rose, but we never talked. Oh, oh, thank you so much. My autograph is twenty pound. <laughs> oh my god, shit. Money yeah, hey, you got PayPal? Well, you got PayPal? unfortunately, <laughs> we have to create another cast because we are on a time limit. So it's going to end in about um, a right. minute. Hurry, Matt Rose, send me your PayPal. And then, uh, yes, yes, yes. Twenty, twenty pound, twenty but pound. I'm gonna say <laughs> to Christian. Wait, though, what if what if this cast was actually one that we've done before? We just don't remember. We're all the same person. <laughs> We're all. We will. I don't remember. Right. Uh, so uh, going forward, Jackson. there will be more real Hubians cast because obviously this whole storyline was bullshit, and we're gonna have more, many more real Hubians cast. Like the episode a lot. Well done, Chris Chibnall. Well my done. My D's in my subconscious. That's why I always say she. That's right. <laughs> and we'll be back no, with I another one, whoever wants to stay. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye for now.